Hello, I'm Spade. We're gonna try a um, little live edit version here of a uh, of a video because I'm setting up. I'm gonna put up a file which is linked in the video description below, by the way, um, that I just call scratch.cfg. This is the file right here. It's just a couple of console commands um, that make it easier to run around in game and try uh, different nades, practice stuff like that. Basically, automate some stuff that you should be doing anyway. I find that I'm inherently lazy, so if I don't do this, I won't do it as much. So this file, which you can download at the link below, um, goes in your CSGO config directory, which you know varies based, based on where your Steam install is, but by default, it's in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and uh, then CFG. So this here is the folder where you want to put that file. So let's go uh, see how it works. So let me let me hop into game here, and uh, we'll check it out. So first things first, you start an offline. So I mean, I'm watching the streams, and I'm like, oh, that's a sweet flash. I want to try it out. So I go into um, play offline with bots. Uh, you can select bots if you want, and then the little uh, scratch config will kick the bots, um, so it doesn't matter that much. And uh, so let's hop into Dust2, and actually I'll show you a sweet flash as well. Um, one thing, well I'll show you what to do here is we're going to take, so right now if you were to just log, you know, log into the game and you've got the file placed in the right place, you can, you can just type in exec scratch, and that's, that'll run the script and everything will work fine. However, uh, probably the better thing to do is, is bind the key. So the way you do that is bind, and then hit the key, which I'm just going to use, um, what is that, apostrophe. Uh, and then you do quote, and then what you're binding the key to do. So in other words, when I hit apostrophe, the console is going to type whatever I put in quotes. So in quotes, I'm going to put exec scratch. So now I've bound apostrophe to exec scratch, and as you can see right there, I got my money, and uh, now I can run around. And by the way, I've also uh, bound T to no clip, um, which means I can just kind of run around like this if I hit T, um, because uh, it turns SV cheats on, as well as grenade trajectories, by the way. So here's a neat flash that I saw on somebody's stream. I feel like it was Pasha. Um, is you get up here in the corner and uh, take a flash and bounce it off that and you've got a nice pop flash right out through mid. So <laughs> notice it pops right here, you threw it, which is really cool. Um, it's pretty easy, you just kind of aim underneath that line and a little bit in front. If you throw it too far back, it'll, it'll flash you. If you throw it farther back than that, then it'll just come in front of the door and then you're aft. Um, so yeah, make sure you get it just in front a little bit, and a little below the line, I'm a and uh, you should be able to run out mid, and these guys, whoever's sitting here, is going to be blind, because um, you see it pops right out there. So that's a sweet flash uh, that, um, oh yeah, and let's, let's uh, I'll show you one other sweet flash on Inferno. Between this, between binding a no-clip key and having this script ready to go, it's going to make dropping into a game and doing this so much less painful. I mean, look at that. I'm already set. And you can, it's buy anywhere, so you can buy your, your, your guns and your nades out here. And by the way, if you buy a decoy, uh, a neat thing is the decoy takes the exact same path as a smoke. So if you're practicing, for example, you, you're coming up here and you want to smoke so you can get out of here, so you can exit here, um, you want to practice getting that smoke right. If you throw a decoy, it follows the exact same path as the smoke. So you can um, you can practice without having to wait for the smoke to clear. So notice, you know, you get a safe exit. And then you can, you know, come out, yada yada. Anyways, um, that was not the sweet flash I was going to show you. The sweet flash I was going to show you is... One that I saw Swag do on stream like yesterday is 
you come up on the fence here on graveyard. So say, for example, that um, you guys have come up, it's your terrorist, you've come up, you've taken a site, and you're waiting for the rotate from B. And you've got one, maybe two people that you know is going to be coming through CT to Arch. Uh, get up here just past the bump on graveyard fence, put your crosshair right here on this antenna, and just toss it. And look at where this pops. It's beautiful. It pops right here. And if you've got a guy holding arch, just let them know you're throwing the flash. They throw the, you throw the flash, they can look away, and come around and just, they'll be blind as shit. <laughs> it's really a, a beautiful, beautiful flash. So once again, just come right up about here. It's pretty, it's a lazy one too. You don't have to be very, you know, precise and it'll work great. So yeah, um, that's the that's the script. It's where to put it. Um, it's what it does. It just gets you set up for running around um, and uh, practicing your nades, practicing some shots, sprays, whatever. The other thing is it's got um, unlimited ammo, um, infinite ammo too. So if you notice the clip, it you can you can practice your spray pattern because you get a. I'm not really trying. Uh, you can get a clip out and then it recycles the clip as opposed to infinite ammo one, which just sprays bullets indefinitely, which is no good for practicing the spray. Um, so that's it. Uh, spade out.